Okay, in this video we're going to look what happens if we rotate the unit Q theta degrees anti-clockwise about the Y axis. So the Y axis here is the green one here, this is the X and this is the Z. And here we have the unit cube. So the important points to look up are I, which is this one here, 1, 0, 0. J, which we'll need to move around for, is this one here on the positive y-axis, which is 0, 1, 0. And the point K, which is 0, 0, 1 on the z-axis. OK, so if we click here, we can see the image and I can move the slider. And now this GeoGebra app, I will put in the notes of the video for you to try. Now, at first, it looks it's going clockwise, but it is actually going anti-clockwise. We'll talk about that in a moment. And you can see, obviously, J is staying put, but the others are changing. And so let's just have a look at 90 degrees to begin with. We weren't asked to do. That would be one that we're probably likely to be asked to do. Right, I'm having trouble getting on 90. Let's just see if I can do that. There you go, 90 degrees. And that gives you the matrix. Obviously, another interesting one would be to do 180 degrees. Which is that one there. That gives you the uh, matrix for that transformation. Okay, and 270. which gives you that one there. Okay, you can get the uh, matrix by seeing what the points map onto. Okay. So we can see at the moment I has mapped onto this point here. Okay. Uh, K, was originally here, but it's now mapped onto this point here, and J has stayed put. Okay, and if you see all the way through, J stays put. Now, at the moment, it looks like it's going around clockwise, but uh, now there is a convention. The convention is this. You need to look at the rotation from looking at the positive uh, part of the axis you're rotating through towards the origin. OK, so now if you see me rotate it, let's just go back to the original shape. You can see now it's actually going around anti-clockwise. So that's quite important to uh, realise. OK, this GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of the video for you to play with if you want to on your own. I hope this helps and I hope you, you understand. And I thank you very much for watching.